the channel guys, I'm heading out back to the mountains, back in the hills in Lanzarote. This is my final session. Did 120k the other day, the wind was blasting me in the face. It was tough. So I'm going to wind it down a little bit today. And uh, I'm still going to do roughly between 80 kilometers and 100 kilometers, taking it steady, possibly have a cafe stop. I'll show you that as well. I'll do some recording up there too. So uh, let's go and let's do this. some respite, get some water in me, electrolytes, and maybe treat myself to a gel. I'm on this main road, it's been a headwind all the way down here, so it would have been nice, it had, had a tailwind, but it's been a headwind, so I've been doing about 24, 25 kilometers per hour. I couldn't go in the tri bars because of the wind, obviously with the deep wheel, I'm shaking all around, so I had to hold on to the bars. As you can see, I'm heading towards Tegiz, which is in that direction. Top off a bottle of water. I think I'll just go and get at the petrol station before I enter Tegiz. So I'm not sure what supermarket is around in the next village. So it uh, gives me a good opportunity just to get some water in. So no far from five minutes from the petrol station. We're at Johnny's Bakes now. So let's go myself and get off a bit of pastry. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the cooking. Yeah, no, well, someone told me about it actually. I saw it, someone, some of the friends came last week. Well, I think it was closed. So that's Johnny over there at the door. And uh, this is Johnny's Bakes. So I'm going to enjoy now uh, a nice Americano, a couple of sugars, and I'm going to dig into this. So that's Johnny's Bakes in the distance, over there, and again, it's just a constant climb out to Portuguese, headed north to Mirador now. So uh, let's keep, keep on pushing it, keep on working. That apple crumble is going to fuel the rest of this ride. Los Valles now. So this is just out from Tegiz. So as you can see, we're going up another steady climb now. So once again, heading towards Mirador de Rio. So I'm heading to How are you now? That was just a constant climb. So I'm at the top of the climb. 
coming out of Tegiz into her ear. So this is where it does level out. So there's a bar restaurant, Le Hilchos, if that's how it's pronounced, up here. So this is just before we hit the nice windy roads on the way down. So if you wanted to stop after Johnny's Bakes, this is about 20 minutes, half an hour after that. So if you miss having to stop at Tegiz, then this is an opportunity to get a respite here. So that's the switchbacks just done. And climbing once again. Thank you. Once you've come down those switchbacks, if you want to stop there for a cafe stop, so plenty of outdoor seating. So uh, that's always an option. And this is leading up towards Mirador. So we're going around the back and looping back around to the coast. So the course is on the other side of this climb. Look at that, for making an entrance. Second day up here. This is the shorter route. I did this route two days ago, but I had to do it again. Nearly the summit of Mirador now. Just thought I'd have a little stop here, just to look down at how high we are. I mean, look at, you can see where the waves are breaking on the shore down there. Because it's sloping slightly and it's not a, it's not a straight, uh, drop I feel a little bit safe here so we're door right now heading back to the hotel this is the best way to see the island you might have a look at it you can hear me because of the wind it's been extremely windy all day today uh, so I'll be making sure I'm hydrating drinking because the sweat's drying immediately so that descent wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad at all got down it but there's more to go I've just literally left Mirador. The wind down here is actually milder because he sheltered by another mountain there. I'm sure it, was, it has been windy all day. I've just seen some German uh, cyclists up there and it's their first day. Well, the first day was yesterday. And they say, is it been like this every single day? And I said, no, it hasn't. I mean, it's beautiful, sun's out now, but there's, they talk about the wind. Has it been windy? And it hasn't been windy like this every day. Um, it's been windy but not as windy as it's been today. Um, so I should go really steady. It's been a lovely day in the saddle, just to wrap off a fantastic week. So this has been solo training. Lanzarote is a perfect place to come away. If you want to do a bit of solo training, you don't necessarily have to come in big groups. And if I'm honest with you, sometimes, when you are on your own, it can be uh, hard work, obviously. But it can be very rewarding. And this is it, people. So, hotel is just over in that direction. I'm on the road now. And I'm finishing this ride off with a nice tailwind which is always a bonus. And then we go. So that's it, ride done. Back in the hotel room. I would honestly suggest never ever bring these type of wheels. The back one's fine. The weight of the body weighs down the bike in the wind, but the front wheel you know, at times, I really felt like that was it for me. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe and like for more content just like this. More of it is coming, more routes, more holidays. Let's do this. I'll see you all guys in a bit. Take care, bye.